Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey Blooded. My name is Dave. It's been a couple weeks since I've seen you. I had a couple quick late vacations, so thanks for the quick time off there. About three weeks ago was my last video, and at that point I told you I'd be reviewing some Orphan Barrel bottles for you, and I know a lot of people have been requesting that, and it's something that a lot of people are wondering, is it a good buy? So we're going to do that today. I said in the last video I'd do both of the 20-year-olds that I have, which is the uh, Barter House and the uh, Rhetoric. But I'm just going to do the Barter House. I think that these deserve enough time for a review on each. And then that way you can tune in next week and get a comparison of the two. And I'll reference both both throughout the video. But this is what we'll be doing today. This is Barter House. They're a 20-year-old. This is rare, but you can find it. It's not rare, rare like a Buffalo Trace Antique Collection uh, product. So this is fairly rare, but you can find it on shelves without too much of a hassle if you're looking hard. Um, this is a 20-year-old Kentucky bourbon whiskey. It's not a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey because of the way that they do their process. It's bottled, uh, you won't see that, it's bottled at 45.1, which is 90.2 proof. So 90.2, 20-year-old whiskey. This ran me about $90. That's what it should run you at a normal price. So if you don't know the story of Orphan Barrel, it's right here on the side. And I'm going to explain quickly what they do with their whiskeys that make them somewhat affordable for something that is involving very rare and old whiskey. So here's their story. At Orphan Barrel Whiskey Distilling Company, we pride ourselves in rescuing lost barrels of rare and delicious whiskey, hidden away and long forgotten in the back of rickhouses. While we take craft and quality seriously, we had a little fun bringing these extraordinary whiskeys to life with each of our marks. Every Orphan Barrel bourbon whiskey is hand-bottled in Tullahoma, to ensure that these rare whiskeys are treated with the care they deserve, because once they're gone, they're gone forever. This is bottle number 8114. Bottle 8114. You can see that on the side there. So don't let them fool you, though. Long forgotten and lost in Rick houses, with as popular as bourbon is right now, no one's losing $1,000, more than $1,000 bottles uh, or barrels of whiskey, tens of twenties of thousands. If someone goes to uh, Stitzel Weller and they're, oh, look, hey, there's a barrel over there. Probably, probably not the case. But what they're saying is that some of these barrels, they might not know who the original distiller is. And they're, they're you know, blending and tasting these. And they're coming out with this one, uh, a fairly good product. So let's go through our normal thing here. And let's review Orphan Barrels Barter House. Next week, I'll do their other 20-year-old, which is the Rhetoric. And now, the Rhetoric has a 21-year-old, which I don't have. I'd love to review. If anyone's got one, send me a message or put it in the comments. I'd love to buy it off you for a reasonable price. Uh, I can't seem to find those anywhere. But this is their normal 20-year-old, which is Barter House. And they have, what, four? They have Lost Profit, Old Blowhard, Barter House, and rhetoric. And based on this one and my rhetoric, I'd say that they're pretty good values. We were talking the other day about some of the, like Elijah Craig's re-releasing an 18 year old that's going to market price at 120, uh, or suggested price of 120, which means it's going to go for like 150 at a, at a party store that's marking up. So this is pretty good value for a 20 year old. Let's go into the review though, because this has some interesting things going on. Or at least it, I remember that from my last tasting. And this this has an awesome nose. This has a fantastic nose. I don't know if it's just that I'm excited to drink this again or that this nose is really showing some of that 20-year-old age. But it, it is just there. So what I'm smelling is a lot of sweetness, a lot of lighter fruit but then with a, a, a nice subtle oak undertone with some cinnamon and some buttery vanilla toffee, like all those really, well, what's the word for it? Flag, no, that's not the word. Um, well, what's, a, what's a word that defines something? Flag mark, I think is what I was going to say, but I'm, I'm losing my words. It just smells so good. I can't even come up with the word. A lot of the things that, that make bourbon uh, 
taste the way it does. A lot of the flagship, there we go. A lot of the flagship smells that come with bourbon. So a lot of those, you know, buttery, uh, caramel, toasted oak, light fruit. I can, it's almost like smelling butter, like butterscotch, like, I like a lot of butterscotch. Let's try it. I think I remember tasting that on the palate, that butterscotch. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. It's there. Right up front when you drink this stuff, it's almost like drinking a, a candy beverage. It's like you're taking a Werther's and you're putting it in your mouth in a liquid form. I mean, how good is that? Liquid Werther's in your mouth right up front. And then when you're taking it down, right after that initial hit, there's this nice butterscotch hit. There's this nice vanilla hit. There's this subtle light fruit hit. And then a, a nice undertone of oak like a, a toasty oak. It's not really showing its 20 year old age here. So it's not super meaty. It's just very buttery on the mouthfeel, which is very unique to me because I like heavy, woody, weedy, bite you in the face whiskeys. So this is very unique in that regard. Um, and I'm really enjoying it now, especially that now that my barrel that I have has sat for a couple months, I think. Um, I'm really enjoying this now that it's sat for a minute. Barrel. Bottle. I wish I had a barrel of this. It's almost like when you're first tasting it with all that butterscotch, it's like almost like a soda. But then, like I said, the finish is, is fairly medium. It doesn't really heat all the way through. I wish it, I wish it had a little higher proof. But the finish is, is fairly, I would say, short to medium. It does dry out pretty quickly where we're getting just that slight undertone of that oak and then a final finish of some of the lighter fruit notes. But you know what? I like it just because it is different and I'm, I've, I'm hard pressed to find much that tastes so unique like this. So what do we think about the overall rating for Barter House? The price, I, I would normally complain about this being so expensive, but with whiskey prices now, and this being 20 years old, which isn't always a determinant of price with bourbon, but with it being, you know, having some rare bottles in it, I, I think that this is pretty good value, to be honest with you. So I'm going to say 91 out of 100 because it's just, like I said, very much unique. I think that this is a, I talk about bottles that are good to share and like what's good and what's not. Like Elijah Craig, 12 year old, even though it's cheap, it's not great to share because it's not a lot, of, not a lot of people like to sip it. Well, a lot of bourbon drinkers like to sip it. But not a lot of people that you're trying to introduce to bourbon will really just jump on the Elijah Craig bandwagon. A lot of them are going to go for the sweeter stuff. And this is very sweet. So I think that if you really wanted to, you know, impress not just bourbon drinkers, but your friends with like, hey, do you want to try this nice bottle of bourbon? They're actually going to like this because it's so sweet and easy to drink and easy to sip on. And it just goes down easy and nothing, nothing that's hurting on it, you know. Uh, not that, I hurt, that it hurts me. But, you know, some people, when they try, you know, really heavy bourbons, they don't like that really warm, burny taste that brings with it, oaky taste. So I think this is one that should satisfy most people. So 91 out of 100, this is the Barter House, uh, Orphan Barrel's Barter House. We'll be doing rhetoric next week, the 20-year-old. So tune back in for that, and we'll compare it back to this one. And if you have any... Questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching again. Uh, go blue as you see the hat on today. I can finally wear this again for the first time in many years. So um, if you guys uh, have any suggestions, just put them below. And if not, then I will see you. We should see you next week. I don't have anything pending, so we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.